Chef just brought this guy out. I'm gonna start to frame it up and see what I like in terms of composition. This is very different from what I was anticipating, but I actually really like it. I think this is a very unusual dish. Okay, right now what I'm doing is I'm taking a quick little look. I wanna get my light kinda of set and get everything in perspective that I want. So right now I know that the, I'm not looking into the dish in the right way. I'm gonna turn this guy and take a look at it from another perspective. So I'm just going to take a little bit of time to make a couple of adjustments. Not trying to take too many liberties with what the chef has going on. That's kind of cool. So this is a dish where I feel like I really have to get in tight without question. I need to see the detail of this because it is just a tiny interesting dish. So this is, well, much better. So this is pasta that has been done in a blood orange sauce, which is giving it that pretty cool color. I'm gonna check my crop, see what I really have going on. I think I'm gonna come in a little bit tighter, and I'm also gonna get rid of the water glasses in the background, because they're just not quite right. Maybe see a little bit of stem. Right here, there's a chandelier in the back of the restaurant that's reflecting into that water glass, which is creating a really weird spot. And I don't want that. So I'm gonna move the water glass back where it's out. And I may move a wine glass to where it's in. So what I'm trying to do is give this a sense of place. Something that's a bit interesting where you're like, all right, I know I'm in this cool restaurant. This looks kind of interesting, but what are we eating exactly? Want to create a little bit of sense of mystery. Want to know more about it. I definitely like what's going on here. There's some real interest and some mystery in this wine stem that's starting to come through. I don't love what's going on on this other side yet and I've got too much negative space. This green is also, uh, the green of the napkin is getting too close to the green of the leaf and it's interfering. So I'm gonna wanna pull things a little bit in order to shift gears and make sure that these things aren't tangent and interfering with each other. So let's make a couple moves here. In this case, I think I'm gonna come up just a little bit because I wanna be able to see into this dish a little bit more. As I look across it, I'm really not seeing much of it, so I'm gonna change my camera perspective just a bit so I can see more of it. Now, <clears throat> tripods are a little bit more of a hassle than the camera stand, but you cannot bring a big camera stand on location. Unless you got a really big car and a couple of hefty, strong people to work with you. Yeah, this feels better without question. So because I'm shooting it nice and tight, I make sure that my movements are fluid, they're simple, they're kind of calculated. I'm not being jerky with this thing. I'm being very delicate because I don't want to bump anything on set. That's looking much better. I definitely like what's going on here. The wine glass now feels a little bit bulbous. Whereas before it was a little bit of mystery, there was a really cool little thing that was going on there. Now it's a little too big, but I like the plate a lot more. I definitely am liking that position. So I think what I'm gonna do is actually push the wine glass in a little bit closer so that this guy starts to move up a little bit. Up and out. Let's see. I'm also going to bring my dish a little bit closer. Now, I'm looking through the camera 
and the movements I'm making, again, are really gentle, really slow. I don't want to knock anything. I don't want to mess with anything. I want it to be clean and simple. That is better. All right, so I'm gonna take a quick look. I wanna make sure that I'm in focus. I'm gonna blow this beast up. This is kind of cool. I like that leaf. It's, I'm not quite sure what it is and what's going on with it, but it's giving me a little bit of mystery. I think it's a little bit too much in profile, so I'm gonna adjust it a little bit. This one is really nice. You can really read this leaf and you know what's going on, but the one in the back, you can't. So again, I'm gonna futz with that. I'm probably gonna move it and kind of set it up on the lip of that plate. I'm starting to like what's going on back here. There's just a hint of some stuff. But I think I'm gonna bring a little bit more interest up in here, and I'm gonna do so by bringing these plates in ever so gently. Okay, I'm gonna mess with his dish a little bit, but I'm not gonna mess with the integrity of it. I'm just gonna mess with the composition. So I'm moving this up just to give it a little bit of interest. I want it to break that edge. Now I've gotta be conscious that I haven't brought it back into that green napkin, because they might compete a little bit. In fact, they are, they're touching. So I'm gonna move this out just a bit. I have a bit of a hole down here in the foreground of my image, so I'm just gonna play around with adding a little bit of interest with a fork and knife. I don't know if I'm gonna love it, but I'm gonna give it a whirl and take a quick look. Okay, so let's, let's do a little comparison. I definitely don't, want to, don't like what I did with the plates. As they're coming in, they're just creating shadow. They're not giving me any interest. So I'm gonna move back. I'm gonna pull that out. There was a little bit of stuff going on there which was kind of cool. So maybe what we need to do is actually take this glass back here and bring it over to kind of fill in there. This leaf, I think, is too far off to the side. I wanna bring it back. I wanna have it break more in that area. So I'm gonna move it again. Although it might feel too disjointed. It might feel too far away from the rest of the food, but let's take a quick look and see what we think. The other thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna clean this up. So let me get a couple of uh, Q-tips and we're just gonna clean this setup a little bit. So I've got my location kit with all my little tricks in it that I'm gonna to use to clean a couple things up. I can do a lot of this in post, but the more I can do here, the easier it's gonna be on me in post. So look at that. Just take that right off. Okay, I gotta move this out because I hated that. I'm gonna bring this guy in a little bit. And I'm also gonna clean off the base of this leaf. See what that looks like. Okay, I like everything except for this last leaf. It's just too big. It's not feeling right at all. So I'm actually gonna quickly run to the chef, see if he's got a smaller one of these things. It's just too big and it's kind of interfering. I want to get it back in that side, but I want something that's a little bit fresher and a little bit smaller. So hang with me while you go do that. But I'm going to use my tweezers here just to get this into position because I want to find the right spot for it. So 
I'm going to introduce this back in here. I think it needs to be a part of the food again. I had it too far out before, so let's see if we can get it up and have it be a real part of this, but get a little light under it. Ooh, that might be cool. Kind of like that. No, I don't. As I'm looking through the camera, I'm actually seeing that I've made a tent between this leaf and this leaf. They're, they're creating a perfect tent. So let's go ahead and move this guy around a little bit more. It's a sticky little bugger. Now, one thing with food, it doesn't always go where you want it to. Like, let's take a quick look at this. You're going to see that I've got three now connected in a row. I absolutely don't want this. See this? I've created this line. It's just blah. It's really awful. So, let's get this guy to move back. Let's see what happens when it's up on the edge. See if we love it or hate it. Yeah, I think we hate it. Still hate it, it's too flat. So, <clears throat> this is one of those things. It's just a little challenge and sometimes you can chase things. Like I've moved it around to several different places and I'm really not liking it. So I wanna take a quick look and see what what was working and what isn't. And I think honestly it was working where it was just a little bit more hidden. It's a different composition, but at least I understand that I need to kind of hide this thing a little bit more. So let's move it up in here and change its direction altogether. That's kind of cool. I think I'm liking that now. Let me make a couple of other moves with the plate, just really simply. Oh yeah, that's better. In fact, I'm gonna do that a little bit more. So again, let's see if we like this. Too far. So if I look at this, I thought, oh, as I'm looking through the camera, I thought, this is kind of interesting. I'm now I'm getting the food to kind of bleed into the stem. What I thought looked good in camera doesn't look good in reality. I want to go back to something like this where I have a, I've given it a little bit of space. Just needs that again. So we're going to go back. And I think one of the things that you'll find interesting is, even if you've done this a long time, I've been doing this for a couple of decades, I still don't have all the answers all the time. Sometimes you just have to see it. The good thing to do is pre-visualize, start to experiment, and kind of go through the process and allow yourself to find where all the food kind of falls into place. But you can see what I'm working on. I'm working on tangents that I don't like, intersections that I don't like, things that kind of don't let the eye flow. Because again, this is all about allowing the eye to move through the composition, come back to the important parts while giving you that entire sense of place and giving you the emotion that, ooh, man, that looks way tasty and I really want to have that right now. So that's what we're going for. Without question, what I'm doing is I'm making sure that I'm using, oh, better, the environment that's here in the restaurant. This is one of their surfaces. This is all of their plating, their silverware. What I did is I came through the restaurant after I talked with the chef to look at the restaurant to figure out what places would be best. I'm creating their, you know, the sense of environment with their environment. I'm not bringing in a ton of different props. I'm not bringing in all kinds of surfaces to completely change what we're doing. I'm really enhancing what they have and just kind of giving their own place that sense of feel, that sense of, of place and of purpose. That also is good when people come into the restaurant because you don't want to put together an image that looks completely and utterly different than the restaurant. If somebody comes in here and they've seen this image, they're going to recognize the green of the napkins. They're going to pick up on the tones of the wood. It's not like I've created something completely different that has no relationship to the restaurant at all. It's good to use their stuff 
because in the end, customers will actually make that connection. Whether they're aware of it or not, they will do so. All right, I think I'm almost done. There are a couple little changes I want to make in the background, but I'm pretty happy with everything overall. So I'm going to bump this in ever so slightly. I'm also going to bump this in just a skosh. I'm also going to bump this guy in a little bit more. And move these to the other side. Let's see what that does. Oh yeah, dig it. Okay, so I brought this guy over a little bit. It, it, I think now it might be a little too centered. I could bump it a little bit further, but I put those white plates in there and it's just casting a reflection, which I kind of like. It's kind of rounding out that napkin. I'm going to move both of those over a little bit so I get the reflection to come down a little bit more. It's kind of cool. Simple things like that, but what they do is they lead the eye. Remember, I keep talking about this time and time again. I want to lead the viewer's eye through this composition. And in doing so, I'm going to give them a sense of place, I'm going to get them a sense of emotion, and I'm going to give them a sense of appetite appeal. But make no mistake, the choices I'm making are directing their eye through this thing. They kind of don't have a choice. I like it. The only thing I want to do is add a little bit of a kicker light, so I'm going to get a little bit of a fill card just to go right there and add a little bit of light. So I'm going to go to my handy dandy cart. And I'm going to go to the bottom section where I've got cards. I'm going to kick in a Scotia light, and this beast is done. Hello. I wouldn't call it a beast. It's pretty awesome. Let's see if we can get a little bit more. That helps just a little bit. Let's see if I can get a little bit more because I like what that's doing. So I'm gonna come up on top of it and I'm gonna push this light down in there. Yep. You can see how that shadow's filled in. It's still there. I'm not removing the shadow. I'm not taking away the, the sense of direction of the light. I'm just filling it in so the shadows aren't so deep. I like it. That one's done. Absolutely love it.